College basketball season tipped off today, but Gonzaga starts their season tomorrow. Brenna Green joins us now with a look inside how their non-conference slate came to be. Yeah, and that non-conference slate still in flux. Today, the program announcing they will take on number 15, West Virginia, instead of number 12, Tennessee, on December 2nd after a COVID outbreak within the Vols program. I talked to the man in charge of Gonzaga's schedule, TJ Benson, about what it was like putting together one of the top non-conference schedules in the country in the midst of chaos. How many teams do you think have come and gone off of your schedule since April? Easily 40 to 50. Gonzaga fans probably should have been sending TJ Benson care packages throughout this offseason. From the moment I'd wake up in the morning, I usually had text messages from teams in the East Coast and Midwest, and then until 7, 8 o'clock at night, I'd be trying to figure things out. So it was, it was an all-day affair every day. Like nearly every other program in the country, TJ thought the Zag schedule was set in June. By August, he knew all of his hard work was out the window. I'd sit there and go through the net rankings. I'd go conference by conference, just trying to figure out, hey, I've already talked to this one, crossing teams off the list, and then I, I can't tell you how many times I'd say no to a team, and then I'd circle right back with them probably a week or two later. It was a constant you know, carousel of you know, trying to figure out which teams worked and piecing it all together. Gonzaga fans will be happy to know TJ didn't go it alone. Mark Few also played a pivotal role, including with the game the Zags will open their season with on Thursday. He was as involved as I think any head coach in the country, um, if not the most involved in terms of helping, you know, get games, you know, trying to make sure we have a season. He was the one that had the uh, the Kansas deal um, ready to roll. Unlike previous years, TJ knows his work is hardly done as we get into the season. The Bulldogs have several non-conference home games on their slate in December, but undoubtedly some of those games won't happen. If the Zags need to replace opponents, they'll most likely be putting in calls to Big Sky teams around the area. It's definitely um, a situation where we could lose a game on the 10th and we need someone to fill in, you know, two, three days later. And if it matches up with one of those other programs, I'm sure that they're going to be needing games at some point. And like I said, it's just always about being flexible. Gonzaga plays Kansas at 1030 a.m. tomorrow on Fox. I also asked TJ about putting together the Baylor and Iowa games, so keep an eye out for more on that in the coming weeks. If you want to know what it was like putting together schedules for Eastern Washington or WSU, those pieces are up online right now at crim.com.